Hiya, I hope you had a nice weekend. Um, today I'm going to do a video on some suggestions for what to get your friend if they've just had a baby. And this has come from so many of my friends have had babies this year, I cannot tell you. And one of my best, best friends, um, recently I said to her, what do you need? You know, what do you want a little top up of? Because you can imagine my friends, you know, I'd give them a top up of whatever makeup or skincare they need. And she said, I just want some really nice shower stuff because I just, you know, that's the main thing that is that kind of active self-care at the moment. And I thought, do you know what? If that's you and you've just had a baby or you know someone that's just had a baby, let's just make that five minutes really special. And here are a few suggestions from my own cupboard and, you know, things I've used for a long time. So first of all, for here and now, kind of seasonally, um, I think philosophy always do really lovely things for that kind of time of year. This cosy by the fire smells amazing. I mean, their formulas are always really lovely, hydrating. Um, they go into a nice rich lather. And then you've got the benefit of, you know, these lovely kind of seasonal smells. I actually have kept this in the living room and it's by where I sit watching the TV and honestly, like, I feel like we're all coping with what's going on in different ways. But I always have this as my little sense check of have I still got my taste and smell? I haven't had any symptoms, touch wood, but that's just my my little check in. I can still smell everything. I can smell that shower gel. So I think that is a good indicator of how much I'm actually losing the plot during this level of how long we've been in lockdown. OK, back to really lovely kind of shower ideas. I don't think you can go wrong with L'Occitane. Um, what I really like as well, what I've tried to show you today is things that are in really big sizes because your friend or family member or whoever it is, it might be you that's just had a baby. There's nothing more annoying, I think we've all been there, than when you go and have a shower and you've run out of your blades, your shampoo, your conditioner, your shower gel, everything. We don't want that to happen. They've got more than enough to think about with their new baby. So nice big sizes that aren't going to run out are going to be really helpful. Um, this is the Mousse Ultra Rich and you can use it for hands and body. It's beautiful for your body. It's got a lovely clean powdery smell without being too overpowering. And I think that's really lovely. You could also go for something like the Milky Bath again, which is huge. This has more of a sweet smell and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I haven't bought it down. It's upstairs in my shower. The Silky, I can't think of the name. I'll write it in the description. You might know if you've used a lot of L'Occitane products. There is a shower oil that they do that goes on like an oil and it melts down into a milk and it smells like almonds. Absolutely stunning. Um, that said, if you're not lo looking for someone that wants something that smells overly sweet, what I use, I've just had to give it a wipe down. Um, these Australian body care shower gels are brilliant. This is Skin Wash. I can't remember. I got this in a pack of two months and months and months ago. And this smells almost a bit medicinal, so it's not for everybody. But if you want to feel clean, if maybe you're not having as many showers as you used to because you're busy with your baby, this makes you feel clean. It's an antiseptic skin wash. It's not astringent or anything, but you feel great after it. Um, they actually recommend that you might want to follow up with something that smells nice afterwards. Um, but that for me is just, I feel great after I've worked out or something. Um, one last one I thought I'd show you because I know it's coming up on um, like a special offer this week on QVC. Corres do enormous sizes and this particular set, I haven't opened this yet, but I've used a lot of the Corres things in the past. Like the sizes are enormous. Oh, this is the olive set. So if you wanted something, again, that was going to last for ages, that comes in the nice little box. I'll show it to you now. Um, maybe if you wanted to give it for Christmas or something. Let me fold it down again. It's just really nice. You can write their name on it. Um, so that is kind of having a nice shower experience. I've tilted myself. Let me put it back to normal. Okay, now, if you're wearing a bit of makeup in the day or you're not wearing a makeup in the day, 
Either or, I can't recommend these kinds of gadgets enough. These are, they have been through the washing machine, but they don't come out like absolutely spotless. Um, the face halos, and this is the Trish McAvoy and Makeup Eraser uh, collab. Basically, you can just use this with water and it gets all your makeup off. And I know that sounds mad, but it's true. Um, what I would say is if you want a softer touch, you're going to prefer the likes of this cloth. If you want something, the amount of makeup I've got on that you just kind of want to get in there and wrestle with it, the face halos are brilliant. These are great and quick that you don't have to, as I say, if your cleansers run out or anything, you don't actually need anything. You can just get everything off with these. Um, as well, it's really great that you just throw them in the washing machine and use them again. So it's a bit more user friendly than perhaps using cotton wool. I just think they're brilliant. They're so quick. If you did want to team them up with something, um, again, going for the really quick, absolutely two minute job. Um, La Roche-Posay's Micellar Water. This is an enormous, let me check the mill on this one, 400 mil. Something like that over the top of this is just going to get everything off instantly. As well, if they are someone that likes to wear makeup or maybe SPF or something that's needing to be removed, the cleansing oil from Kiehl's, literally, you can smush it everywhere. It's ophthalmologist tested. You can use it around your eyes. It will just melt everything off so quickly. If you were to team that with something like one of these, incredible. Everything's off without scrubbing or any harsh rubbing, and it just melts away so quickly. Um, quick one. For me... If I can not be bothered, and I think we've all had days like that, never mind if you also have a new baby to look after. One of the things, if I do one thing that makes me feel really good, is the James Reed Click and Glow Drops. The amount of times I've been going to bed thinking I can't be bothered to do a full tan, and I will just mix some of these into my moisturiser, do my face and neck, put on a high neck jumper the next day and do my video like I've groomed myself from head to toe when all I've done is my face. That happens all the time. Literally a few drops of this into your moisturiser. I used it last night. I'm very, very pale. I know I don't look like a golden goddess today, but I'm a lot warmer than my natural complexion. A few drops of that mixed into your moisturiser takes two seconds to put on your face and neck she will feel brilliant the next day. It just gives you a glow, warms you up, takes the edge off, especially if you're not sleeping the best. It's a really lovely option. Speaking of sleep, I really want to show you this. I'm so impressed by it. So I got just a quick funny story, actually. I got two messages within 24 hours of each other recently, both from people I went to school with, both completely different approaches, one of them didn't quite make any sense and was essentially saying, please, can you give this big thing a push for me on Instagram, right? The other one, loveliest message from George, who I used to walk home with all the time. And he was like, hi, Rose, how are you doing? Uh, listen, I've set up this company during lockdown. I'd love to just get your thoughts on it. If you're not up for it, don't worry. But do you know when you just have these two polar opposite different approaches? But I would have known George would send me a lovely message anyway. But anyway, George has set up um, a brand all about sleep and wellness, and I'm very bad at sleeping. So to be honest, I was really looking forward to seeing it anyway. So candle arrives, lovely. Sleep mist arrives, lovely. And lots of people have those kinds of things in sleep ranges, arguably. And I'm very lucky that I get to try lots of different things. But what really, really stood out, and it's so different to anything I've ever used, is the mask. So basically, the one night I was like, brilliant, I've got stuff on this. I do apologise, George, if you see this, but that just goes to show I have been using it. The reason why the mask is different is basically because it's padded around your eye, it completely blocks out any light and it's completely black out. Now, I usually use like a slip uh, silk mask. I love those. But ultimately, any mask I've ever used, you still get light coming through. And my curtains, you might as well just be sat in like under the sun, basically. They let everything in. That is revolutionary. 
if you're not someone that sleeps the best, I cannot recommend this enough. It completely knocks out any light. But also, if your friend is just trying to catch a nap or trying to maybe get a little bit of sleep in the middle of the day while the baby's sleeping, knocking out all the light just makes all the difference. So I would really, really recommend having a look at that. And it's nice that you know that like it's a small business that is a nice person that's running it. I think those things kind of mean so much more at the moment than ever, don't they? So fantastic, George. Um, a little one that I thought from personal experience, this is what I historically do. And it was really nice timing. Um, I always love to get a little bit of jewellery for someone. So I just think you might not have time to have a shower. You might not have time to wash your face. Whatever it is you don't have time to do. If you've just got something on, you look at yourself and, you know, you've got something for you, haven't you? Um, one of the people that really springs to mind, I'm going to show you this ring of hers that I got. I think it was... Um, 2012 so I've had this for years Laura Gravestock is a lovely jeweler um, and she makes customizable pieces so you could maybe get them a piece with their own name on it I got one of my friends her baby's name in a necklace recently and like Laura is so lovely she was like do you want me to put a special message in with this and she hand wrote what I wanted to say and she did it really quickly so absolutely lovely um, another one for jewellery that I love, who I've discovered recently, I've actually got, that's another one of Laura's rings, a little lips I got years ago. This one I recently bought from, um, I've mentioned her before recently, Iris from Rainbow Rocks. Funnily enough, that's one of hers as well. Um, Iris was a jeweller in Hatton Garden. And she basically realised there was an appetite for these expensive looking pieces for a fraction of the price. So she does all of these pieces. They're lovely. Lots of them are adjustable as well, if you don't know the ring size. Um, but again, two independent small jewellers, both absolutely lovely girls. Um, I'm not someone that kind of hoards things, but I love bits of jewellery. So I remember every piece and like when I would get it. And then the last one is a really, really lovely one, but I'm sure you probably already follow her. My friend Hannah Martin, she's a makeup artist. She's one of the loveliest people you'll ever meet in your life. Um, has just done a collaboration with this brand, Screen Pretty. And she's put really personal touches on all of the jewellery. So I think the light is not letting me show you this very well, but this is a really lovely necklace on the back. It says, love always. And you've got the little stones all the way through. She also has these earring sets. So this set is a little cuff that you could use, you know, anywhere up the ear. This little hoop and this stud. And you can mix and match. And, you know, a ring, earrings, necklace. These are all things that you can put on if you don't have any time and you just want to feel a bit more put together. Um, but any of those people, you'd be supporting someone lovely if you did end up getting something from them. Um, but that is it, really, I think, for the suggestions. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten to show you anything. I don't think I have. Um, just a tip from me, if you were looking for body things, QVC do brilliant body things. I always find, because I do the cosmetic shows on QVC, it's the body stuff I get sucked into. You'll be in the green room getting ready for your own show and then you'll hear what's going on and it's someone's set or something. But like the Australian body care, for example, I always get that from QVC now. It lasts, I don't, I wouldn't even know how long. I've had that for months and months and months. So if you are getting big sizes, it's always worth having a look at them because they tend to do big sets for a lot less than if you bought them somewhere else. Um, but that is it from me. I hope you've got some nice gift ideas. I'd love to hear any suggestions of yours as well um, because I think it's one of those things that you really want to get right, don't you? And also, like, it's lovely to get something for the baby and I always do that, but you want to get something for the person as well. They deserve a little treat, don't they? But anyway, that was a little chat from me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back with some makeup videos through the week.